What is going on, buddy? Dan Alfelter checking out Parkway Drive, Idols and Anchors. I'm excited for this, because the last two Parkway Drive songs, like all, basically all Parkway Drive songs I have liked. But the last two were special. Uh, the Gray and the Blue is just my fucking song. That shit, it's on the playlist. Love that song. Because I, I think mainly, just, I didn't know they had that kind of like, range and emotional delicacy. <laughs> like really, I did, not, I did not know Parkway Drive had that type of like, softness to them. Awesome song. And then the Siren song was like the complete opposite. <laughs> like the, entirely the complete opposite. Lyrically, just brutal the entire the entire way. When something like uh, we have a bleeder. That was a line in the song. We have a bleeder. Uh, heartbreak under the streetlight. Uh, you can't wipe the blood out of her eyes. What? Dead by first light. I think was how the song ended. Yeah, that, that, that song is completely the opposite of blue and the gray. But both awesome. So now it's time to check out Idols and Anchors. This comes from a patron, Brennan. Appreciate you, homie. Biz bump. Let's check this out. Dead by first light. Ah. Okay. That's an awesome riff. That's nice. Very glad that they brought that back. The melody there, that they're, I guess they're bringing back for the hook, that was during the intro, so catchy. But then when it went completely away for the verse, I was a little worried that maybe it was only for the intro and maybe they'll bring it back for the outro. Glad it's here for the hook, because it's extremely catchy. allowed to do that just you can't what the entire <laughs> second half of the chorus just changed into just an, an entirely different monster all of a sudden I think the last thing I heard him say was your heroes are dead or have died and then just everything changed talk Now 
There's a lot of intricate things they're doing here. See, this is... The last few... Well, I heard the first couple Parkway Drive songs probably like, what, two years ago something? When I think Wishing Wells was the first one. Awesome song, by the way. I kind of pictured them as one thing. And now the last few, they've, they're have they way more like deep than I thought. I thought they were just like a, you know, a standard metal band. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's a good time. But, nah, they got, they got layers to their sound and what they're doing here. Like, that shit was intricate. This, this time when they did it for the hook, yes, it still changed with the your heroes have died, but they fucking, this time they started, they like toyed with it during that line. You, where the, the other time it just drastically changed right after the line with no like warning. This one, they gave the clear like hint that we're about to change. That was a different like transition into it. What? And then the, the, what? Then the riff and speed was completely di different than the first time. See? Completely di different transition into this change. And then the change is even different. Last time already they were just going in with a very quick uh, guitar riff and double pedal the whole way. Now it's, it's not. Crazy. Crazy. Yo, is he doing the melody? No. Is he doing the intro melody? Just soloized, like solo in a solo guitar, guitar in a guitar solo form. Maybe that'd be awesome. Just saying, that'd be sweet. He might not be. I th I just now kind of thought about it, but maybe. He is. What do we do with Parkway Drive, man? They're way better than I thought. And I'm not saying, like, in terms of sound, a lot of their songs sounded great. Sounded really good. Bangers. But the last few I've been sent here to check out have been more than just good songs. They've actually been, like, intricate as fuck. Like, stuff that I didn't know they could, a band of their level, no offense to them, I don't know, I don't know enough, could do. I think I just judged them wrong from the first couple songs I heard. Bangers. Wishing well, a banger. But in terms of, like, kind of musical brilliance, that was fucking brilliant. Because, yeah, that guitar solo, I'm pretty sure he was doing the initial uh, intro melody and then the chorus melody. But he was doing it in a solo. So he had, like, tweaks to it. Fucking awesome, man. That was really well done. Really well done. And... 
of the three choruses, I believe there were, not a one sounded the same. Not one. They didn't repeat a single chorus. Like, not in terms of sound. Words, yes. Sound, no. Melody, no. Not really. There was massive changes to the structure of each chorus. Crazy. All right, Parkway Drive, I see you. But now, now, I, now that I know, their their bar is now like raised. Like my expectation bar is now up. Because now we're not just here for a good song, Parkway. Now we're here also to like break down some your difficulty. Because the last couple, you they've been going up in terms of the difficulty. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Maybe, maybe these are like, maybe like closer to new than the other songs that I've heard. Because it does, it just does feel like a more mature sound in the way their songs are being structured. Nicely done. Brennan. Fucking banger. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hey. Maybe I was just wrong. Maybe I judged them wrong. They're not just a normal metal band that likes to just kick you in the face. Even though I enjoy that. They also got like, fucking structure and like layers of intricacy let's fucking go